Discover the beauty of the Philippines. flag carrier. The airline that lets you feel the warmth of the nation. Mabuhay. I started working at the age of 10 uh, bilang basurero. Instead, nakaawaan ko ang sarili ko. Di pinagbuti ko sarili ko. Matter of mindset. At hanggang sa makagraduate ako. Ganun lang yun. Pagpapahalaga sa pag-aaral. If you have that attitude in your mind, you will know value. I felt so blessed. Sabi ko, why not? To go to public service. In fact, naku, dyan na naman ako. Ah, wala yan. Artista lang yan. Pa-cute lang yan. Nakalain mo? Kasalanan na maging cute. Bumalik naman ako ng eskwela. Awa naman ng Diyos ako'y nakapagtapos. Keep on trying. Wala namang mawawala sa atin. So kung nangyari sa akin, pwede rin mangyari sa inyo. Wala nang imposible. Ako kayo. Hindi sumusuko. Ako po si Isko. Ako 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 si Isko. Usa ka pagtuo. Usa ka tingog. Usa ka katawhan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Gikan sa MTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas... Uluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Mga job order employee ubos sa Legislative Department diya sa Nakbayan sa Talisay, Masyulduhan na. Tandem ni Ace Durano o Vice Governor Hilario Davide III gisuportahan sa pipilak ka mga transport group. Mayong unto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa Newsang Puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami muhatod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karun sa detalye sa atong mga balita. Update sa COVID-19 din sa Central Visayas ang dakbayan sa Sugbo. Aduna ay 186 kabagong kaso kagapong adlawa. Kini base sa report sa Department of Health. Mandawi, 57. Lapu-Lapu, 60 Inuibi. Lalawigan sa Sugbo, 154. Bohol, 50 Inuibi. Sikihor, Duha, Negros Oriental, 146 sa kinatibukan, mabot sa 673 kabagong kaso sa coronavirus din sa Central Visayas, kagahapong at lawa. Siyudad sa Mandawi, mupadayon o distribution sa ilang financial assistance alang sa sikan batch. Karong Adlawa, kinialang sa mga nabiktima sa Bagyong Udit. Ang kasayuran, ihatod ni Mary Rose Sagarino. Musugod karong biyernes ang syudad sa Mandawi sa pag-apod-apod sa financial assistance alang sa second batch ng audit victim. Unsi ka mga barangay ang nalakip sa second batch na mawang alang-alang ang Kambaro, Kubakob, Luok, Magikay, Upaw, Pagsabungan, Paknaan, Subangdako, Tingub o Gumapad. Mga dagko ni nga barangay, mao ni sila ang nahimuan na o payroll karon sa accounting o sa treasurers. So, uh, more or less, dili ni Mahuman yun o Birnes. So, ako ang uh, nakig-meeting taganiha and uh, na-instruct yun si Mayor na we will have to extend even during the weekend para mahatag ang uh, uh, financial assistance. Ipaagi gihapon og house to house ang distribution. Ni Tagana og tulok kaadlaw ang City Treasurer's Office sa pag-apod-apod sa assistance. Giban abana usab nga mahatagan og ayuda ang nahabilin pang unsi ka mga barangay sunod si Mana. 
Una nang nahatagan ang kapin 400 nga binipisaryo gikan sa lima ka barangay nga mao ang bakilid at tawason at tipolo hagubiyaw ug kanduma ni aging simana. Magsugod na usab ang grievance committee sa pag-assess og verify sa mga residente ni duso og petition for inclusion. Tulong for the inclusion and exclusion. Kay misamot kadugay atong payron. Mao na nga gi-compile na ron ang mga petition for inclusions para i-hearing na sa grievance committee. Banyes ang nagkanayon nga nangita og pondo ang syudad aron pag-supplement sa mga dili mahatagan sa national government. Mary Rosa Garino, CCTN News. Talisay City Mayor Samsam Gulyas mukuha og 80 million pesos nga pondo sa Rakbayan aron matunulan og ayuda ang mga talisaynon nga apektado usab sa bagyong udet. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Gian Navarro. Human nga nakalampos sa iyang isolation period. Daling gitagad di Talisay City Mayor Gerald Anthony Samsam Gulyas ang pangutana sa mga residente kung asa na ang ilang ayuda at ubangan sa publiko. Gibutyag sa mayor nga mukabat lang sa 13 million pesos ang gidownload sa Department of Budget and Management aron itunol nga to sa mga naapektuhan sa bagyong odet. Gibanaban na nga nasa 40 mil ka mga panimay ang partially damaged o 3,800 usab ang totally damaged sa Talisay City, base ka na sa ilang datos. Aron maigo alang sa mga hilabiang apektadong residente, paninguhaon ni Mayor Gulyas nga makabaton o 80 million pesos nga pondo sa Dakbayan. Nagkasturiyan na ko sa budget, sa treasury, sa legal o sa tuwa mga department heads na angay ta mo realign o mga proyekto para maabot ni ang 80 million. Kubaw ko daghang guba, guba ang city hall, guba ang mga baskitan, guba ang mga barangay hall, guba ang mga multi-purpose hall. Pero kana tanan i-realign ang budget, secondary na siya. May pasali kini nga hatagan niya og tag 5 mil pesos ang tanang mga totally damaged nga balay o paninguhaon nga masugdan kini karong Pebrero 7. Samtang dili mo menos sa 2 mil pesos ang ihatag nga to sa mga partially damaged o makuha nila kini sa tungatungang bayan sa Pebrero o di baka sa Marso. Butang nga gipanginaot sa mayor nga mapangitaan kini og pagi aron ma-realign ang ilang pondo. Kini aron matuman usab ang mando sa kasamtangang administrasyon nga matunulan og ayuda ang tanang mga apektado sa bagyong Odet kinsang naigo niadtong Disyembre. Ang ako na lang last na paabot ninyo kung namoy reklamo especially kung mahuman naghatag ang 40 mil ka book households nang wa pa mo na appeal duula inyong barangay duula ang city hall duula ang DSWD then we will find a way na matabangan ang tanan apektado sa Typhoon Odet. Ian Navarro, CCTN News. Masyulduhan na ang mga job order employee ng mga kawani o bus sa Legislative Department sa Dakbayan sa Talisay. Kinihuman nga si Emily Cabrera, ang pangu sa Human Resource Office na kadawat na og program of works na gipirmahan mismo ni Vice Mayor Alan Bukaw. Matod pa ni Cabrera nga nalangay lang yun ang pagsyuldo gumikan sa mga dokumento nga kuwang. Ang konsiyo sa ilang regular nga sesyon, nagkalalis human nga ang mayoriya sa mga konsihal gusto nga mupalabang o gusto ka resolusyon labot sa ilang mga job order employee. Si konsihal Antonio Bacaltos Jr. ni Doso o resolusyon nga gikuturan usab sa mayoriya sa konsiyo pag usab sa gidaghanon sa ilang mga job order gikan sa legislative. Kasamtangan nga doon ay 45 ka mga legislative researcher o 25 ka mga job order employee ang legislative. Ang unod sa resolusyon mao nga nagdugang og usa ka legislative researcher sa matang konsihal og dugang usa-usab ka job order employee. Nakaangkon og suporta karon ang tandem ni Kanhi Tourism Secretary Ace Durano og BC Gobernador Hilario David III sa ilang kandidatura sa umabot nga eleksyon gikan sa pipila ka mga transport group. Si Durano og David nagkanayon nga kini ang 16 ka mga grupo sa taxi, bus og jeepney operators nga ni suporta sa ilang kandidatura. Niadtong milabay ng Miyerkules nakigtagbo si Durano sa mga representante sa maong transport group diin iyang ginungog ang mga yangungo 
og mga problema ni ini. Atul sa tigom ang grupo ni Doso kini og solusyon nga kasagaran nga problema sa transport sector. Apil na ni ini ang pag-institutionalize sa services sa contracting nga maghatag og regular nga sweldo sa mga driver og ang pagtukod og proyekto alang sa mass transit system nga mapahimuslan usab sa kadaghanan. Ang overhead utility lines sa Dakbayan sa Mandawi, ilisa na unya og underground utility lines aron maminusan ang kadaot ilabi na panahon sa pagkusukuso sa mga bagyo. Mao kini ang gibutyag ni Manalaban Jan Edo Ibanyes, ang executive secretary ni Mandawi City Mayor Junas Cortez. Human sa sunod-sunod nga pakikinabi sa mga utility providers sama sa linya sa kuryente, tubig, cable o internet. Mato ni Ibanyes ng ilang tinguha nga masugdan ang underground ang uh, pagbutang og mga kable sud sa mga business district o ang mga planuhan ni ini ang urban development nga mga dapit diha sa ilang syudad particular na sa South Special Economic Administrative Zone diha sa may reclamation area ang plano subay sa ordinansa nga gimugna usab ni City Councilor Jewel Sino Mao kadto ato mga balita sa alas 12 sangan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTA News and Current Affairs ako si Dennis Tabar atangi ang atong Sari 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi up next ang Santos nga misa manukad live sa CCTA Chapel daghang salamat
Nicholas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family.
Today being first Friday, we offer this Mass for the forgiveness of sins. And as we pray in the morning offering of the Apostleship of Prayer, we always pray for the forgiveness of sins, the return of sinners to the Lord and the reparation and the unity of all Christians. We also include in our intentions, the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today, and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and stream celebration. We also continue to pray for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Graciously hear the prayers of those who call upon you, we ask, O Lord, and forgive the sins of those who confess to you, granting us in your kindness both pardon and peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. Like the choice fat of the sacred offerings, so was David in Israel. He made sport of lions as though they were kids, and of bears like lambs of flock. As a youth, he slew the giant and wiped out the people's disgrace. When his hand let fly the sling stone that crushed the pride of Goliath, since he called upon the Most High God, who gave strength to his right arm to defeat the skilled warrior and raise up the might of his people. Therefore, the women sang his praises and ascribed to him tens of thousands and praised him when they blessed the Lord. When he assumed the royal crown, he battled and subdued the enemy on every side. He destroyed hostile Philistines and shattered their power till our own day. With his every deed, he offered thanks to God Most High in words of praise. With his whole being, he loved his Maker and daily had his praise sung. He set singers before the altar, and by their voices, he made sweet melodies. He added beauty to the feasts and solemnized the seasons of each year, so that when the holy name was praised before daybreak, the sanctuary would resound. The Lord forgave him his sins and exalted his strength forever. He conferred on him the rights of royalty and established his throne in Israel. The word of the Lord. Yeah. 
God's way is unerring. The promise of the Lord is fire tried. He is a shield to all who take refuge in Him. And blessed be my rock, extolled be God my Savior. Therefore will I proclaim you, O Lord, among the nations, and I will sing praise to to your king and showed kindness to your anointed to David and his posterity The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. King Herod heard about Jesus, for his fame had become widespread, and people were saying, John the baptizer has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Others were saying, he is Elijah. Still others, he is a prophet like any of the prophets. But when Herod learned of it, he said, It is John whom I beheaded, and he has been raised up. Herod was the one who had John arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. 
Herodias had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. His own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? Her mother replied, The head of John the baptizer. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once on a platter the head of John the baptizer. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison. He brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl, in turn, gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. A blessed Friday to us. There is, I really believe in one particular line. I heard this first from a song, and, at, and this is really very true. And the, so, the line goes this way. There is more to hear than can be heard, or there is more to read than can be read. Why I am using this dictum or saying? Precisely because in today's gospel reading, apart from the narrative, which is actually very long in the context of our gospel reading, this gospel passage is an insertion. If we study the, the gospel of St. Mark, this is inserted between the sending of Jesus, of the disciples, of the apostles, for a mission, and before they return. So some scholars would call this the great meanwhile. And some scholars would even use the particular uh, term sandwich effect. And when I was a student back in my, in my student days in Rome, I called this a hamburger effect. Nganong sandwich effect man. Because there is a, a, a story inserted in one particular story. Here in the context of the gospel, we have the mission of the 12, of the disciples. Before they returned, this particular narrative is inserted. Just like the story of Jairus, and then there was the woman who suffered hemorrhage, you know, inserted into the particular narrative. Now, what is the effect of this great meanwhile on our part? You know, in our lives, we have so many things to do. We have major activities. We have sometimes not so special, the ordinary ones. But there is always a great grace that the meanwhiles can give in our lives. Now, on some binisaya of meanwhile, Samtang, no? sa kasamtangan. No? Because sometimes you are doing things, but there are insertions. And these are not distractions in a way, but they actually uh, give evidence or more challenges or enlightenment or enrichment of what we are doing. Sometimes we are stopped. We are, we are not able to continue because we have to, to take a look into this. No? Ato aning atimanon. But then when we go back to the main thing that we are doing, mausab na atong panlantaw. No? If not, ah, na ako da yun nun. Something like that. Or I, I do another thing which is more significant than the first uh, plan that we, are, that we have. So this is a, a beautiful uh, reminder for all of us. We have to be aware of this meanwhiles in our lives. Because these are moments that, or pockets, that God inserts particular events or significant moments that add dimension and meaning. And I would like to connect this with what the responsorial psalm says today. Tried fire, or fire tried, the refinement of the promise and the plan of God, which is something like gold being put into fire to cleanse it, 
to make it even pure, to glitter, to glimmer, and to be brighter. And these are moments that we, we say the polishing moments of our day-to-day -day living. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, our struggle against the forces of evil will be successful to the degree we unite ourselves in prayer. So let us now pray to the God of truth as we say, Lord, let us walk always in your truth. Lord, let us walk always in your truth. That the leaders of the church, like St. John, may become courageous proclaimers of the gospel of truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us walk always in your truth. That we may give wholehearted support to the church struggle against those dark forces that enslave men to violence and crime. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us walk always in your truth. Thus, as Christians, we may be vocal in our concern against those who exploit and for those who are exploited through political pressure and corrupt practices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us walk always in your truth. That those who are victims of oppression may finally gain justice, freedom, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us walk always in your truth. That those who suffered and died in faith may gain their heavenly reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us always walk. Heavenly Father, your love for us never changes or fades away. Give us the courage to walk in your presence all the days of our lives. We ask this for the same Christ, our Lord. sisters and brothers that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty we offer you O Lord the sacrifice of conciliation and praise that being moved to compassion you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise 
as we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the Sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O Lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We eat bread and drink this cup. Proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with Midifil, his assistant Bishop, the order of bishops, 
all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now share with each other the sign of peace. Shalom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed.
Let us pray. Grant us, merciful God, that receiving in this gift the forgiveness of sins, we may be able by your grace to avoid sinning from now on and to serve you in sincerity of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Most sweet Jesus, Redeemer of the human race, look down upon us, humbly prostrate before your altar. We are yours and yours we wish to be, but to be more surely united with you, behold each one of us freely consecrates today to your most sacred heart. Many indeed have never known you. Many too, despising your precepts, have rejected you. Have mercy on them all, most merciful Jesus, and draw them to your sacred heart. Be you king, O Lord, not only of the faithful who have never forsaken you, but also of the prodigal children who have abandoned you. Grant that they may quickly return to their father's house, lest they die of wretchedness and hunger. Be you king of those who are deceived by erroneous opinions, or whom discord keeps aloof, and call them back to the harbor of truth and unity of faith, so that soon there may be but one flock and one shepherd. Grant, O Lord, to your church assurance of freedom and immunity from harm. Give peace and order to all nations, and make the earth resound from pole to pole with one cry. Praise to the divine heart that wrought our salvation, to it be glory and honor forever. Amen. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father. Heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mother. Heart of Jesus, substantially united to the Word of God. Heart of Jesus, of infinite majesty. Heart of Jesus, sacred temple of God. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness. Heart of Jesus, propitiation for our sins. Heart of Jesus, loaded down with opprobrium. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our offenses. Heart of Jesus, obedient unto death. Heart of Jesus, pierced with the lance. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection. Heart of Jesus, our peace and reconciliation. Heart of Jesus, victim for sin. Heart of Jesus, salvation for those who trust in you. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die for you. Heart of Jesus, delight of all the saints. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto yours. Let us pray. O Almighty and eternal God, look upon the heart of your dearly beloved Son and upon the praise and satisfaction he offers you in the name of sinners and for those who seek your mercy. Be you appeased and grant us pardon in the name of the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, world without end. Amen. Act of consecration to the sacred heart of Jesus. I give and consecrate to the heart of our Lord Jesus Christ my whole life, my actions, my trials, my sufferings, devoting every portion of my being to loving, honoring, and glorifying Him, to working for His love alone, renouncing with all my heart whatever may be displeasing to Him. I take you then, O Sacred Heart, for the object of my love, the protector of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my inconsistency, the redeemer of all my faults, and my sure refuge in the hour of death. O heart of all goodness, be my justification before God the Father, and shield me from the effects of his just anger. O heart overflowing with love, I place all my confidence in you, for I dread my own weakness, while I hope everything from your goodness. Consume them in me, whatever may displease you or withstand from your will. And may the pure love of you be so deeply imprinted in my heart that I may never forget you. And I implore you by all your love that my name be graven upon your heart. May it be all my happiness to live and die as your slave. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. 
We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength and their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O most holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Señor Santo Nino, most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, Our Lady Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungson. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. Discover the beauty of the Philippines. With Philippine Airlines, the country's flag carrier. The airline that lets you feel the warmth of the nation. Mabuhay.
For you are the one I praise You are the one I praise